Okay. Okay, we'll just have a uh, next few minute or so for uh, the, the rest of the team to uh, join in, but this is uh, starting out this evening, January 27, 2021, the African Diaspora Development Institute, California chapter, first meeting of 2021, and uh, people are still gathering, and so um, we'll give them, like I said, a, a minute or so to come in, uh, but we welcome everyone, and thank you for uh, joining us today. You know, it's such a amazing journey that we're on under the leadership of Her Excellency, uh, Dr. Arakana Chanamboy Kwao, who has awakened the sleeping giant in the world. That's that African diaspora globally coming together, reuniting our brain trust to build the Africa we want on the continent, as well as galvanizing our talent and skills around the world uh, to really rise in this season. And it's just happening everywhere. It's such a beautiful time to me to be alive and to see this happen, the changes that are gonna be for the benefit and blessing of our people around the world as our rising stars like Amanda Gorman at the uh, inauguration who's just taken off uh, in, in her career and, and, and so many more to come as more people realize and recognize the amazing people that we are, despite the oppression, despite 400 plus years of slavery, despite all of the institutional uh, shackles that they tried to put on us to keep us oppressed and suppressed. And it did not, even though we got depressed, we are rising in this season. And uh, our goal is to be part of that movement forward for the betterment, not just of African descent, people of African descent, but also as an example for the world, for humanity, because we're a spiritual people, we forgive, we rise, we, we do, we're innovative, we're amazing. And I'm just grateful to be here and to be uh, part of the plan right now. So uh, that's my opening. I'm uh, Lady Alicia Hamilton serving as chair for this year for the uh, Institute. And uh, most of us have already been here before. So uh, if anybody's new at the end, we'll have some, some questions. Uh, we can answer questions, but you know, the, all the information is on the website. I'll put it in the chat at rabdi.org. Um, all of our social media handles and everything is, is, is there. So I won't go and digress there. The purpose of our general meetings really is to, we're trying to galvanize this body in people around the world. And the strategy for that is to have enough people represented in ADDI. Uh, so when the ambassador proceeds to formally have the sixth region officially designated as one of the regions for the African Union with the seat at the table, at the Union, at the Congress, uh, it will just change the face of what we will be able to do. Because right now there isn't an official representation of the African diaspora globally, just on the continent. And so the million members will help us have a substantiation to uh, getting these uh, agreements and contracts and things as Africa builds. Uh, one great thing right now is that historically this year marks the opening of the African continental free trade area, which makes this whole continent, this fertile ground available for um, so many opportunities and, and from, from infrastructure to, to, to uh, academia, to tourism, to you know, airports, seaports and everything. And the ambassador, our ambassador, Arakana, wants to really be sure and, and ensure that these contracts as they build go to benefit Africa's children not just people on the continent, but globally, the diaspora. Uh, and, and already countries have stepped up to uh, have her be a clearinghouse, if you will, for things that they need uh, in their country. So I don't know if they found someone to build an oil refinery, but that was one that blew me away. I was like, my goodness, that's amazing. They're looking for someone to build an oil refinery um, as well as all kinds of projects, many, many, many opportunities and things. So with that being said, um, having the uh, database of our people, when, they, when, when these contracts or, and opportunities come up, 
then we can submit. And she's trying to get a first rider refusal uh, for us to represent those contracts before it goes to the Chinese who are waiting, ready and able, right? And everybody else except us. So we've got to come together. Uh, and, and, it, and it's a task uh, for more reasons than just us being far away. We got issues, we don't, you know, so I won't, that's another conversation another day, but we can do it. And I think we have the right leadership and I'm proud to be here to be a part of it. Um, so the last time uh, we were together when we uh, wrapped up in uh, uh, 2020, we introduced the sectors uh, and uh, with the uh, sectors, there are opportunities for people to uh, work and, and uh, in the area of their expertise, in the area of their comfort zone, uh, because main goals is one, mobilizing the diaspora, getting those 1 million members. And then secondly, um, uh, the book sales for the, uh, Africa 101. Uh, don't have it right in front of me uh, for show and tell. You, know, you might have yours close by for show and tell. You can hope, but if not, um, yeah. Africa 101, phenomenal read, phenomenal read history that you just don't get in school. Uh, and so that's also helping us to fundraise. There's also some coffee that we can share at our next meeting that uh, coffee company uh, out of Africa, they're uh, donating a percentage of all their sales back to ADDI. Uh, so we'll share that with you as well. Uh, but I'm going to share my screen right now, if it cooperates, uh, just to bring up the sectors, because that is the area that we are looking to focus in on here, where we have people and uh, interests and um, uh, talent, resources, ideas in, in these various sectors. So let me get that together here to show you or to share and let's see, sectors, okay. All right, can you guys see this on the uh, screen? Hopefully, anyone? Yes, we can, Great. I can Thank see you. it. Thank yeah. you, Agrippa. Mm -hmm. Oh, and my apologies, forgive me, please. This is Agrippa Zozo, he is our deputy chair for uh, California. Agrippa, did you have any words? I'm sorry, I just kind of jumped in and started talking. Did you have anything you wanted to share with our group before we proceed? Agrippa? Yes, I said, I just want to thank everyone for calling in. Mm -hmm. uh, may God bless you. Thank you for taking the time. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. All right, thank you. And my apologies. Our uh, team here right now in our core structure that I'm showing on the screen, uh, we just heard from uh, uh, Mr. Agrippa Azozo, also Natalie Biesno, our secretary, uh, Ms. Uh, Mona Lisa, our treasurer, and Gail Marie, Dr. Gail Marie Scott for community outreach. Uh, and so when we get down into the sector structure, the 15, the 15 um, uh, categories here, uh, is how it is uh, sectioned off at the international headquarters for ADDI. Uh, and this is not in an order of importance or anything other than how we just worked work out on this, on this paper. So no, no order of priority, importance or anything else when it comes to the sectors. How we're handling the sectors right now is that when there is an interest and people with talent ready to move in that sector, then we will activate that sector. Um, and so internationally, last year, there were several um, sessions, Zoom sessions with uh, the nurses, with uh, the uh, engineers, with um, the lawyers, which is phenomenal. And as all of these sectors have done their presentations, they're starting to go back to their chapters, get people working in those chapters, and then uh, they all unite in, in, in one uh, direction or one you know, uh, uh, initiative to, to move that international movement in, within that area of expertise, if that makes sense. So the example I always give is that here in LA, we may have an entertainment division that may not be in other parts of the world because they don't have that area. So oh, I don't have, not that they don't have it, but it's not, a, but it's not as many people uh, working in that area. 
So within these sectors here though, and I've also emailed this to everyone. And if you are visiting and I don't have your email, if you haven't gotten the email from me, please put it in the chat. So when we say the chat, I can add you to the, uh, the mailing list. But in terms of the um, sectors, there are the 15 sectors here from healthcare, education, infrastructure, engineering, agriculture, manufacturing, energy, banking and finance, trade, industry, environment, legal, science and technology, community outreach, tourism, culture, and business development. All of these are, 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 are open and available for people to, uh, to join. Uh, you will be getting a certificate for being a member of the California chapter. All of that's being worked on as, as well as some of the other structural things that we're doing internally. Uh, but within that, know that uh, you, you want to for sure join ADDI to be in the database, but also being a part of the California chapter. But all of this is open. All, all of this is, uh, is, is available. So what we need to find out, though, is uh, who, who has uh, interest in whatever area that's here. And then if, so if you have projects or things that you're working on that are in these areas, you know, let's talk about what, what, what do we got? What do we got going on? And uh, now one of the main objectives is mobilizing the uh, million people to join ADDI. And so there's been a great effort over the holiday uh, under the direction of Dr. Uh, Dr. Scott and community outreach and uh, what, what they started to embark on within that uh, community outreach sector. Uh, and I know tonight we have online uh, Marshawn Kinsey, because he debriefed me earlier and some ideas that he had. So Gail, this is someone that I think would be, you know, you guys will have to talk because you're both talking about this campaign and outreach and, and various things, ways that you can uh, mobilize people. Um, but that's the, that's the move. And so for those of you who are here, we thank you for, um, for being here. Well, we really need to know what areas you have an interest in and also what you're doing so we can dove to that, dovetail that into uh, what is going on both locally and then nationally and then internationally. Yeah, so um, with that being said, I'll, I'll stop sharing my screen and let's take a pause for uh, any questions or comments on um, what, uh, what I've said thus far, does anybody have any uh, comments? Let me open up these uh, mics. Let's see. So if you okay, want to make Alicia? a comment, there you go. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so basically um, besides reviewing the um, community outreach notes from last um, session, I'd like to um, officially, and it will be in writing, officially launch uh, 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 the natural health sector because mm -hmm. without, without, uh, without health, uh, nobody, nobody's doing anything. You know, basically. you know, I know that one. <laughs> Girl, you know, we all know that. Every, know that one. Yeah. Everybody knows that. So, um, okay. uh, wow, I'm getting a call from my, so anyway, I can't do that now. Okay, so um, uh, I can review those notes whenever you're ready, or you can yeah, share yeah, them. Does, if anybody else, anybody else have a comment before we move on? Because yeah, do that. Uh -huh. from, uh, from, from Dr. Scott, anybody have any uh, comments or anything before we move on to our first sector uh, debriefing from Gail Marie Scott? Yes, is that you, Lori? Yes, I wanted to know if we have any activity going on now. Are there any members of the ADDI California chapter that are actively participating in projects? Is it possible this, this time could be used for us to receive an update? I think it'd be really encouraging to our mm -hmm. group to hear what's going on now. Yeah, well, with the um, over the holiday, we did meet over the holiday and a lot of the time was spent on kind of infrastructure organizational things as we roll things out. There are other sectors that have been um, active over the holiday. For example, the IT sector uh, had a, a huge gathering. Like most of our Zoom sessions now are in 
close to 500 people, between three and 500 people, uh, the IT sector did very well. And they were introducing the, a new African social network um, uh, that they're trying to um, to have it be like a black Facebook or a Facebook for people of African descent. Um, and those videos, those sessions, um, I can send you guys the links if you don't have them, but all of them have been recorded and are available for review. Uh, but that was the last one that we had was the, um, the IT sector and mo uh, mobilizing that uh, African social network. In terms of contracts, and thank you, Lori. The um, ground was acquired and they broke ground on the uh, city of return in Ghana. Uh, and so Ghana was very uh, active over the holiday as well. Uh, so they have the relationship and everything set up to now build the city of return uh, in Ghana. And um, I don't have the pictures for you today but a team did go over and see the site and, and I'm informed that they did uh, take pictures and make it available to me for the newsletter. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that also happened. So we, we do have a place, a site designated for the first um, Wakanda one, for, for the first Wakanda city. Woo! Yep. So, so that was accomplished. In terms of now, what that does is that it opens up a myriad of opportunities because all the sectors that are here are needed in these uh, smart cities that we're building. Uh, and, and there's talk of these cities going out across the continent that ties then into the need for uh, fundraising and, and, uh, and, and mobilizing investment opportunities. In addition to ADDI, uh, the ambassadors also set up ADDH, the African Diaspora Development uh, H, 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 holdings, 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 African Diaspora Development Holdings. So ADDI is a nonprofit. Basically, she uses this to facilitate the opportunities as they come in uh, and referring them or, or making the information available. But the holding company is what is going to actually hold the contracts and, and, and do the projects. Uh, and that's being uh, finalized well, there'll be a bigger announcement about ADDH and people who may want to invest in ADDH to be a part of that fund. Um, but uh, that is not, this is a, a introduction to that. It, it hasn't been officially uh, released to everyone in a formal announcement, but it's, it's forthcoming and that's the way the structure is going to be. So all of the projects, Lori, will actually be going through ADDH, which, which, be a, which is a for-profit uh, entity and not the um, ADDI, which is nonprofit. So, in terms of the uh, uh, specific projects, uh, the the Travaco project, which is an infrastructure project going across the belly of Africa, is another development project. So, there there are several things that are being developed uh, and not necessarily formally launched. But what? The best way in terms of finding out what's what's going on, well, the newsletter will be coming out with, with updates. So as we wrapped up last year, we wrapped up with 53 chapters uh, around the world, which is phenomenal. Uh, some in uh, Europe, Asia, Africa, of course, in the United States, uh, Canada, South America. South America blew up. That was amazing toward the end of the year. So we do have ADDI represented around the world, but now it's a matter of within those sectors, who's doing what in those sectors. So we'll have more information coming up. The ambassador is going to be doing the um, fireside chats from the book, uh, reading uh, the uh, Africa 101 in a more intimate setting. And then of course her uh, invitations to speak uh, more and more invitations to uh, have her speak at very, with, it, uh, uh, with various organizations around, or, uh, I'm sorry, to speak at various organizations, presentations, and being hosted to speak as a keynote speaker. Um, uh, many of the invitations that uh, the calendar announcement, all of that is also being developed, so that's all made available. I try to let you guys know when I find out about it. I'm sorry, sometimes at the last minute. 
but that's when I get it and I'll send it out. Um, but uh, many more, like I said, opportunities uh, coming up with uh, presentations. And if you want her to speak at something that you're doing, uh, that is also uh, a possibility. Members and, and the membership benefits, uh, those infrastructure pieces are, are being worked out right now, but the members to ADDI uh, can have access to the ambassador uh, being a part of something that they put together whether it be for their organization or an initiative. So that is also available to you as a member of ADDI. So um, I hope that kind of summarized at least for now. Yes, uh, uh, contracts will come a Alicia, later. also there's something coming up on Friday, investment opportunity in Zambia. All that right. Is, yes, uh, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time which is going to be about 7 o'clock a.m. our time. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing this with uh, the government of Zambia. Mm -hmm. They want us to come and hear about all the opportunities that is going on in Zambia. So I hope you guys can log in. So what I'll do after this, group, if I can get that link for where they can go register for it, I'm assuming they have to register That'd for it. That'd be great. It. Yes. Please. Yeah, if you give me that, then I'll send an announcement out to everybody about that um, that presentation. So just know, guys, this is like an amazing time in history that we're actually working with the presidents and ministers and prime ministers and people kings. I mean, it's amazing all over the continent as we move forward. And so a lot of things are still being organized and formalized, but it, it's an it's an amazing feat. And, and thing to see dealing with the rollout, especially under the African continental free trade area. Um, okay, so with that uh, being said, Gail, you wanna um, now give your sector report for communications and what you guys have done? Yeah, do you wanna post it on the uh, screen and they follow along and they can, sure, it sure. might be I easier? That. I can do that. Cause it's Absolutely. real quick. It's not, <clears throat> it's not more than four or five minutes. Let's see. So while she's getting that up, guys, um, we had a meeting, um, Alicia and uh, Linda Pratt and uh, Khalifa, uh, what's her last name? Khalifa, she is over the, uh, she's an ambassador for the South uh, Los Angeles Black Chamber of Commerce. And she's just so well um, known and she's a um, an import exporter and, um, so I had asked her, and uh, uh, Linda was already involved, I believe. Linda Pratt has a big um, uh, media company in entertainment, and she started her nonprofit. So um, that's going to be huge. So basically, um, we came to the table, and the ambassador personally asked me to uh, uh, assist Alicia with the um, California Community Outreach. And so our meeting consisted of uh, four or five people. And um, actually, there was on that uh, call as well. So is that it? Is this it? Yeah, call? that's it. OK. Yeah, make it a little up. bit bigger, just, right. the, just the text part. All the other parts doesn't um, matter. Yeah. Okay. So basically, we finished the ADDI California Community Outreach meeting, and it was amazing. and. Um, Oh, my daughter wasn't there. Rebecca missed. I forgot. She's in San Diego. Um, I had the privilege to take the lead on this uh, particular meeting to um, get the logistics and the sustainable plan, the strategy for a sustainable plan for outreach. We decided to break down each part of the traditional five W's, which is one of my favorite little, little um, uh, when it comes to sharing uh, the shocking truths that the ambassador um, so eloquently and boldly relates through her book, Africa 101, and through the videos and the, oops, I misspelled Zoom, Zoom meetings, <laughs> and um, that have impacted our lives. So the, the, the five W's are the who. So how do we get this, who do we get the community outreach started with? Well, we can share with the diaspora um, of course, whom we all know, and uh, or if we people we meet at the market as well as other folks 
And I talk to people, stand, doesn't matter what they are. I say, oh, that's a cute dress. And then, you know, start talking. And then uh, uh, sometime I'll say, wow, what kind of work do you do? You look so nice. And then they start talking. And then I said, well, you know, it's a great time to be black in the, in, in the world. And that's a book I'm actually writing right now. It's a great time to be black on this planet. And, um, and people look at me like, well, yeah, I guess it is. And they don't, because they don't know that Africa is, is, is changed. Africa's rising now. They don't realize the, the impotence and the, um, the, what is the word? Just the magnitude is the word of, of how Africa is, uh, Mother Africa is arising from her, uh, I won't say sleep state. She was, she was tied down by uh, colonizers and now she's, she's uh, freeing herself and we're her children and we're helping her to, to be tied so that she can stand tall. And uh, it just reminds me of a mother who's been just, you know, abused and we are here to rescue our mother in our abuse as well. And so we're all gonna heal together. So I said all that to say this, that um, no matter where you are, just talk to people. And we have a list of family, friends. Now, family and friends, we gotta be careful because if you're like me, we've done multiple businesses and they're looking at me like, okay, what do you have now? So um, I come with a completely different approach and it's not a sales pitch. I don't want you to do anything. I just want you to listen and, and understand and hear black people are in the time that we're in right now. We're not where we think we are. We're much further ahead. So the mailman, neighbors, my mailman was really cool. He was like, yeah, I was reading that information. I watched those videos. That lady's powerful. That's all I need him to hear. Wow. I'm not going to convince him to join. I'm not, you know, I did tell him to join. I asked him to, but I'm not going to just bark on that. Like, oh, did you join? Did you join? If you read it and it, it may take time to resonate. So by email, phone, um, I thought if we could get one of the or some of the um, marketing material from the organization, from ADDI, and just pop that into an email, and we just send that out kind of like constant contact, mm -hmm. and just do a group of people or maybe just two or three emails a day while we're standing in line somewhere. We just send it out. So we just constantly, constantly. So basically anyone. Now, what is the next one? Well, thankfully, ADDI has shared websites and flyers, so we don't have to create anything. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's already there. We have a plethora of, um, of uh, 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 media that we can send out, whether it's videos, whether it's um, written material, you know, like emails or anything on the website. Um, uh, websites development it's, it's actually a one sheet flyer oh yes hopefully I saw that. within by the next you know it's just being finalized so we'll have some other materials and just know that all the materials will have a docket number so as we develop things they'll be shared um and, and oh, that's and fantastic yeah fantastic so basically you know no more network marketing we're just really out to help others to see that there is a uh, new Africa that is a, on the rise. And I just thought you should know. And that's it. Um, where, I mean, when, anytime, anywhere, anyone. And same thing with where, anytime, anywhere, anyone. And why? Because it's time. It's time for a radical change of a, a radical situation during this radical time. So plus we want dual citizenship from our homeland. At least I do. And that's... Uh, land security to me so the key links and all are listed but everybody basically knows this and um you know ad our addi.org our africa 101.org and i usually add the the tag on there um to add the page for the chapters to be re read because a lot of time people don't have time to read but when you listen to the ambassador give a summary of each chapter i mean i learn so much and I listen over and over because I want to really get this. So basically that, so, you know, all the social medias, uh, the telegram chat, I don't know if anybody here is on those um, I've been on. And sometimes I 
have a tendency to send um, things that are not um, uh, on the subject. Like with with the I'm on the team with the engineers. I'm not an engineer, but my team here in California are civil engineers and uh, hydraulic engineers. These are these brothers are amazing. And so the reason I'm on the team is to bring them to new business, bring new business to the table. So when, when I had the privilege to introduce ADDI, it's like, I'm, I'm the best thing since sliced bread because it's like, girl, how did you know about this? I'm like, honey, Alicia, do you think everything goes to her? The mushroom, the mushroom powders that I'm a distributor because of this girl and, and also this woman, this queen, and also because of uh, my association with Alicia, I was able to be front and center to meet the ambassador. Oh my God, I even picked her up from her hotel in Orange oh, County right, and took her right. to Beverly Hill. Oh, I was just like in heaven. I'm like, girl, clean the car. Oh, I got clean the car to my hair to make sure everything looked good. I was so privileged. And um, I just, I just, uh, she's so um, Alicia and the ambassador. So I tend to put other things like um, things about, uh, okay, I, pu I posted on Telegram, I posted about the nine different African car company, car manufacturers, and boy, you should see those cars. Oh, those cars rival anything you've seen. So, because I was looking specifically, what kind of cars are we going to have? I'm not going to go over there and buy a Mercedes. I don't want another foreign car. I want something MIA, made in Africa. <laughs> no more missing in action. MIA is now made in Africa. All right. You can see it. So if you look at YouTube, it'll say top oh, six car manufacturers in Africa by Africans. So believe me, I'm always scouring what is, what is the, the, brand, uh, the car, what, is, what is the brand called, uh, Gail? Uh, one is called uh, Nord. One is called uh, I can't see it right here. Oh, here they are. It's called Nord Motion, uh, Mobius, M-O-B-I-U-S, Motors, Innosun, I-N-N-O-S-O-N, Vehicle Manufacturing, IBM, and uh, Katanka uh, Motors, and Wally's Car, and Lakari Motors, these are man, and they're all they're all see. um they're all manufactured. That's great. They're all made on African soil, and I'm mm -hmm. loving it because we don't need to import anything. We don't need to import anything. Well, Gail, can I can I share these? Oh, uh, I'm done. I'm done. Can I, uh huh. Can I, can I share the video links with them in the chat? Oh, none of that is mine. All of this is girl. Okay, I got so this I'll from. I'll put the links because yeah. that's a that's a great list because she's got so many. Um, you know, really great video. So I'll put that in the chat. Thank you for uh, no problem. That. No problem. But I just want to encourage everybody to become familiar with what is out there, with what the ambassador has made available to us. And we have just so much information. And if we just encourage our family just to listen while they're driving, or listen while they're working at home. And I, I always have it in my ear to to understand more of what um you know is going on so uh basically that's it we just um we want to stay focused and alicia i want to thank you for your leadership and uh if others could step up to help us to put together a marketing plan um and i and as i mentioned i think if the core team has a marketing plan and we replicate that then we'll basically be the same i don't want to be sticking out and being different. I want to do what is approved by the uh, the core team. So, um, but I will continue to add suggestions. So thank you for those few minutes and I appreciate everybody. Well, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. I, uh, and that was good information too. Um, I, I just you. put in the, uh, the videos in the chat and I will also send that out when I send out uh, the summary from from this meeting. Oh, please do. And can you also uh, resend the um, chapters? 
the uh, uh, sectors yeah. list? Yeah. Okay, thanks. I'm done. Okay. I think it, I don't know if everything came through. I think it, I ran out of how long this text can be, but I will be resending this as well. Um, so, uh, so one other um, thing for tonight, because we're, we're getting up to the end of our time. Um, and welcome, Gwen. Hello. <laughs> um, Marshawn, did you want to share anything about, because we're talking about communications and outreach, did you want to share about your, uh, what you did over the, over the uh, holiday? You were working this holiday, moving things forward. So uh, you want to share your thoughts about the outreach to organizations and what you're working on? Um, well, what I really would like to do is, you know, we, we have the, the, a lot of different organizations that are kind of in the same concept, kind of, you really want to build the diaspora. So I was, you know, talking to a few of the prime minister of, of the SOAD and a few other big organizations, uh, seeing how we can come and kind of merge everything together. Uh, one of the things that I was looking online was, you know, the social media thing is not, I don't think it's going to be hard to get to 1 million. There's a lot of ways to be able to do that. We have a lot of YouTubers right now that have well over 1 million followers easily. And I mean, these are just regular people that we have access to. The thing is, is once they start to send the people there, we want to make sure that we have the database and everything that's secure. You know, if people start going to a website at, at the same time, too many, it starts breaking down. As people start thinking, oh, well, this site is not good. I went in there, I couldn't sign up. So there's just a few little things that we want to make sure that's all set in place. And another thing is just having access to certain leaders or certain spokespersons um, that we can speak, that represent us, that can go out there and reach out to those people so that those people who are talking, they have someone that we could on our Facebooks, on our pages that we can send information out that's talking about what we're doing. And I suggest we start that with the youth as far as getting like maybe a young youth department that would just focus on the diaspora because it's really theirs at the end of the day. We're just going to build it, but they're going to enjoy it way more than we're going to get a chance. So if we kind of formalize like an ADDI youth group that's going to focus on that and just let them do a major part of the work because the youth can do so much with their phone that we older people can't do. And they have a lot way more energy to do that. And if we start to give them nice little um, social media dances, you know, Ray coming from Africa and stuff and those kind of things can go viral and that's all back behind the ADDI. That way we can really start getting a lot of people really looking at what we're trying to do and getting appearances. So we're just working on a lot of little concepts and things like that. I'm going to put it all on paper so it's all kind of can be viewed and seen, but we have a lot of little objectives like that that I think we can expedite what we're trying to do within Black History Month. Uh, thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. So Gail and awesome. Yeah, you guys need to connect and, and, you know, talk to each other because in terms of outreach, you're both working in the same, in the same area. And, and yeah, Marshawn just, Gale is our director of community outreach, sorry. That's okay, okay. I just texted him my uh, number. So what, where, what part of the country are you in? I'm in California. Oh, well, that's, it's yeah. on We're a crack in then. Cause yeah. I'm, in, I'm, I'm in uh, Redondo Beach in, in, right outside of LA. Okay, I'm in the Channel Islands right there off of Ventura County. Oh, that man, that's it. My sisters okay. are up there. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's it. Okay, so Grace, you two uh, Love connected. It. Definitely, Yay. Um, as you work and build out community outreach. Does anybody else have any um, yeah. anything else to share uh, as we... Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a, a different topic, and I'm not quite sure how we how we handle it. But one of the things that I noticed when our new vice president was uh, running with, uh, uh, with Biden is that she was attacked as not being black enough and that she identified as African-American. She also identified as Asian-American. Of course, she's female. But there was a there was a large group of people, and I was reading some blogs that were saying because she was also of um, Indian heritage that she wasn't African American. And our entire history, I mean, we are we are a mixed race people. A lot of it has to do with rape and other types of atrocities that happened to us. Mm -hmm. Um, so is there anything that we can do to counter that type of thing? Because as we ask for things, for example, what I'm thinking about is, 
the dual citizenship. And I'm anticipating that our dual citizenship would be challenged uh, or that members of our community might have their dual citizenship challenged because they don't appear black or because they're of, of mixed heritage. So is there any conversation going on that about that or is anyone uh, advocating for that behind the scenes? I did speak to Ambassador uh, Qual when we, we had a conversation uh, a bit ago about if we would, for example, have um, white people join this organization. And uh, what she said was that we're looking at people who are, uh, what did you say, Africa? You're not Africa because you were born in Africa. You're Africa because Africa is born in you. Meaning that if if people who are born or, or who are of African descent, not all people who are born on the continent even are going to necessarily be dark. They could be light. There's actually absolutely very fair, and they're very African. They love Africa. They they're giving their heart and soul for the betterment of Africa. So personally, I don't think we can judge a person being African because of the color of their skin, which is what the oppressors tried to use to keep us separated this whole time. There you time. go. That's it. We have to understand that it's in our hearts and in our intention yeah. and our commitment to do right. What we are trying to stop, though, is people like, you know, when the Chinese come in from Asia to get contracts uh, and, then, that's right. and then manufacture and, and, and don't get fair deals to the countries that they're getting the minerals and things from, yeah, yeah. you're trying to stop that activity that, you yeah. know, because that's part of what France did, took, took, took the lion's share and gave them 15% and then wanted, they got to borrow money for, to, to keep their governments running because they don't take in all that stuff that's not even theirs. So that kind of atrocity we want to stop. But in terms of determining it by the shade, heck, I'm you know, I've got one from banana peel because I'm kind of fair. <laughs> you know, and I'm I'm as black as they come. I'm part Cherokee and part West Indian. I'm like I, I just make cornbread. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's like if we do the paper bag test, we in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me say something. Um, I think what we're gonna need is a lot of prayer and a lot of patience because we've all been abused, um, dark, light. Uh, look at look at our friend Larry in the night. He's Egyptian oh, born. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying. He's, we got a really he's, great friend, Larry. He's born in Nigeria, a genius, but he's extremely fair. He could probably- Yeah, and, and, and he else. doesn't look yeah. African. If you take him around yeah. the world, he's everything but. But then, you know, and my daughter-in-law was born in South Africa. She's Jewish. And she's she's she claims her African citizenship. I'm not mad at her, but you know she couldn't. Well, I think in terms of conversation, Lori, it's an ongoing conversation. Mm -hmm. There isn't anything specific. We didn't set a rule, by, but I, I gave you my personal opinion, and then what I shared with Ambassador Quall. Yes. Uh, but you know, it it we got a lot of things to heal from and to rise above. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. I think. I think it's more of a, it's just one thing that we got to face at some point that they keep facing it. It's the light skin and dark skin issue thing that's constant that kind of comes into play because, you know, when you talk about the dark skin, it's kind of like they're not mixed with nothing. So they feel like, oh, they 100% they all black. And then when you got a light skin person, I've seen black people, like my son is way lighter than me and his mom black and I'm black, but he's way lighter than me. He could be considered fair, you know? And so one of the things a lot of them are saying is like, they're like, a lot of the dark skinned women or African women that look African women don't get the same opportunities as some of the lighter women. And a lot of times they're looking at like someone like Candace Owens, who is like articulate and does this is like, well, she would never get an opportunity to become vice president or get the vice president because she's darker than our vice president that we have now. So that's something that's just always gonna be there. And that's something that we gotta kind of look at and seeing how we can start to, um, change that up in our culture because right now we don't really control our culture in the way it goes in there so we're, we don't have the resources to put the kind of the coloration that we want to put on tv it's everybody else doing that for us so we need to be able to start to put that on ourselves at some point yes we do mm -hmm. hi this is patricia yes oh, okay great great uh before we close uh, of course, I'm with united black wall street of america inc and um as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, this will be the 
a centennial commemoration of the massacre in Tulsa. And uh, Marshawn is with our group. And so we have, and I'd like to send you our documents on what will be happening this year. Um, and we're focused on the making and the massacre. So first the making, so that we can talk about how was Black Wall Street actually made? A lot of people talk about Black Wall Street and Black Wall Streets that have been around this country, uh, but how were they actually made? So we actually look at the uh, accum accumulation of wealth, the uh, industrial capacity of Black Wall Street, the building of the Greenwood District, uh, the influence of Mr. Booker T. Washington, et cetera. But with, but with this group, we definitely want to make it international because there were international influence in the area and they have international students, students from Africa at Tuskegee and other places in this country, uh, students from uh, the Caribbean as well. Um, now, as far as what we uh, want ADDI, we were looking at the fact that there we have, we're gonna have different conferences like the World Conference of Mayors. Uh, there was over 40 black townships in, in Oklahoma. Uh, we'll look at bringing in the uh, Black Chamber of Commerce and other uh, areas as well. So definitely with ADDI, we'd definitely like to bring in some of the African Chambers of Commerce, bring in the, uh, with Agenda 2063, the African Union's Agenda 2063, they had noted that every year there should be an Africa Forum. And so we'd like to have a high level meeting of, uh, of uh, African leaders. And then yes. because we're focused on on uh, Wall Street business, we want to have an African trade show there as well. So we do have our host team, and as, as I said, Marshawn is on our advanced team. He'll be going out to Oklahoma uh, next month. Um, so, uh, and then you all who can join him from, from uh, California, we definitely love to have you there. So we have our host team. We have access to uh, some of the venues that are there. So we would love to have the African trade shows, have the high lot, as I say, high level African meetings, technology. We're focusing also on agribusiness and land reclamation. Uh, there's land for sale there. So there's a lot of uh, business opportunities and we have the support of the Congressional Black Caucus and other groups of that nature. So I think that would be great to have African trade show and others. Mm -hmm. So um, as I say, I'm on and Marshawn's with our group. He's there in LA. So he's our California porn person. He'll be headed to Oklahoma. Um, so anyway, we want to work with ADDI on that. We'd love to give a presentation on that. So um, if you all could just, you know, keep us in the loop and mm -hmm. then that we can work together to, uh, do this. This is going to have international appeal already. Last week, I was on with the group with Color of Change, and oh, they're doing a, a, a film on on it. And so they were just getting our opinions and how they're going to uh, bring us into the film. Uh, they're working on HR 40 reparations and several other groups. So they want to come out to look at how what was the damage due to the massacre and how what the reparation component of that would be that they're gonna uh, bring before Congress. Wow. So this is an opportunity to bring in our African trade shows and others. Uh, thank you very much. I look forward to working with you. Thank you. Thank you. And I did send an email. And I did wow. send an email, Alicia. It's in your email, Alicia, too. I sent that to you earlier today. I'm sorry, but I did send it to you today. Today, okay. It's okay. in your email. So you can send that when you get it. You can send it off to everyone, too, because you do have it in your email. Yeah. Okay. And then I put also my personal email uh, in the address chat. I saw and telephone yeah. number in the chat. Okay. Yeah, I grabbed it. Thank you. Thank you. I got you. And make sure that you're um, on, on our list. We, we are going to be, uh, like I said, issuing the, uh, the the member certificates for California. So we were over the holiday kind of getting all these last little pieces worked, worked out. But we do want to move forward with a plan for California. Like, and what I've heard from reaching out to organizations and, and thank you so much, you know, bringing in and introducing people who can help us get those numbers because the goal, as I said earlier, is to have that 1 million member body or body of, uh, uh, of uh, membership. So we can officially represent 
the six regions uh, politically and when this decisions are made that the voices of the six regions, the diaspora at large is heard at the table and part of the process moving forward as policy and decisions are made. So that's- Yeah, that's let me add that. Okay, excuse me, let me just add that hopefully at the Oklahoma, when we're in Oklahoma, we can bring forth, uh, that could be a place where the sixth region could meet. I just wanna add too, I, I, I forgot a significant component. We will start with the Trail of Tears. So we'll start from Tallahassee, uh, Tala, uh, Alabama and go on to Oklahoma. So when you talked about our mixed heritage and our indigenous heritage, and then we'll have powwows as well. So I'd love to send you all the documents and maybe be able to present yeah, that. Could, um, but uh, yeah, and, and if we could have six regions represented there or, or some type so that people will know about uh, the six region, that'll be great. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm a uh... I'm gonna put my ADDI email in the chat to you, I think. I'm really impressed that Mayor Ford is gonna be involved with his, uh, with his uh, 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 World, Conference of World Co Mayor? Council of Mayors. Yeah, he's a, he's a right. friend of mine. I really love that man. And, you know, coming from Tuskegee, because a lot of people don't know the influence that Mr. Booker T. Washington had in the oh, making yeah. of these books. So, of course, you know, and there's 40 black townships that were in Oklahoma. So, mm -hmm. uh, being with the black mayors. Yes, thank you. Yep. Yep. That's awesome. That is a, a, a phenomenal project. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And we'll, um, like I said, in the summary, I'll send you guys back a summary after this meeting. Uh, and I just sent you my, my email as well. Uh, Mr. Muhammad. Can I, can I post my email for, um, yeah, for yeah. anybody who would like to be, um, involved or get, you know, do be a part of the, um, uh, yeah. outreach, uh, yeah. plans, because I want to get with Marshawn. I've never been to the Channel Islands, like exactly there. Uh, but my sisters, like I said, in Ventura and Simi Valley and, and Newberry Park. So I'm always there, but I've never been to the islands. And I used to hike up that way, up in Malibu, but I've never been to the islands. So I am coming to the islands. COVID yeah. schmovit, I'm coming. Well, I just see, I, we just seen some whales last week. We had some whales and some dolphins <laughs> last week. Just, oh, just really? chilling. It's just I'm coming. Chilling. <laughs> um, I'll bring yeah. peach cobbler or something or hey, sweet potato yeah. pies and uh, yeah, we, call we, it a day. Yeah, we just go lobster and crab hunt right from the ocean, right there. You can Ooh, just grab them right there. Wow. <laughs> just right there. Yeah, that's some living wow. right there. Yeah, that's they just there all living. day. <laughs> Raw chicken in a, in a bucket and you catch it right there. Come on, on now. Come on now. <laughs> but okay, I think I this is all... great. I think it's great. And thank you, everybody. This is wonderful. Yeah, thank you. No, we're, we're wrapping up. Let's, uh, B. Hall, I wanted to acknowledge um, uh, B. Hall uh, with your years of wisdom and expertise. We're just glad to um, oh, have yeah. you with us. And um, for entertainment and education, I, I do see your post here. And then um, I think we have Gail, Gail McKenzie. Is that you? The 2020 News Group? Did you have anything you wanted to... Uh, say or before we leave and wrap up and also um, yeah no just that i'm really happy to be a part of this awesome awesome um addi and our 2020 group which have about 160 members are all signing up and we are just here with you whatever amazing we do, we're here with you and Lori, Lori, I believe, is on the call as well. Who... Yes, I spoke a couple of times. Hi, oh. Gail. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, really appreciate appreciate you. And Lori, did you join the um there was a IT sector meeting and then also the engineers is because engineers no, I did send an email right? to about the engineers. I haven't been contacted. Uh... okay. Yeah, they're there. Taken. So, um, Gail, can you help her? Yeah, I, I was gonna say I could, I could help you. Yeah. Yes, I'd like to. Gail's active in that group because you that's just that's take my number. The engineer. 
So make sure she meets Thomas, if you can introduce her to Thomas. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That's exactly okay. what I'll do. Yeah, because he's head of the engineering division, um, Lori. Thank okay. you. You're welcome, dear. Just All send right, me well, a text or something. Okay. Um, and is that Mona Lisa? Is that Sabrina? I don't know if you want to say anything before we wrap up. Hi, B. Hall. We see you. Hi, honey. You did it. <laughs> How about that? Can Look I at make, you. Oh, yeah. Can I just make two little uh, sentences? Okay. No, you got to make two paragraphs. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, listen. Um, nobody, no Black person in their right mind is going to take an experiment experimental vaccine Ooh. made by your enemy Ooh. please check the facts please honey think. yes honey yes so that's it thank you okay, mm -hmm. okay um, my daughter sent me a video of a lady who is we, uh, go, paralyzed do you have anything you want to share before we go miss mm. austin can you hear me Oh, um, yes. Yeah, I just want to say my sister invited me to join the meeting. Let me see if I am I muted. Oh, no, we I'm hear unmuted. you. You yeah, can hear me. Hear. Oh, okay. My sister Sophia Sophie Cassell okay. invited me today. She sent me the link to join because I've, I've listened to the ambassador about you know this program and I'm interested about the ADDI. You know, I'm from West Africa, Liberia. All right. I want to see. Yeah, I want to see. You know, a lot of this happening Changes. in our mm -hmm. continent. It needs to be done. Yeah. And that's why I'm interested. So I will be trying to get on it more and find out more about it. And yes, and when they're ready to do the one billion member, I'm going to be one of those for sure. I'm definitely going to join. You can be. You can. You can join now, and um, I'll put it in the chat. Oh, okay. Our ADDI, um, HTT. Yeah, can you send me the information if I give you my email? Please. please put yeah, your because email I've tried to chat. join before. If yeah, I tried can. to join before and there was nothing. I couldn't do it. So I'm ready to join. Okay, please do. Okay. Put your email in the chat so I get that and have you on our mailing list. And I'm also putting the link for where you can join um, if you have any. And then we can talk after today. I'll put that in my phone number as well. Okay, I will. Yeah, I, I'm surprised. I didn't get my sister. She said she was going to be on, but I guess she had to do something else. She's here. She sent it to me early enough. I'm sorry I got on late, but I was doing something. I had just come home, and I was doing something. <laughs> so, yeah, I so love I, your curls, yeah, I Gwen. I love Bye. your curls. They're so cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> hey, I'm well, here. I'm really glad to be on, on the and be everybody. I'm looking at it, and, I'm at it, and I will definitely be a part of it. I'll try to get All right. it. Welcome, welcome. In the future. Welcome, welcome. Absolutely. Where is your area? Are you what, what, what sector are you? Are, I'm in Los your... Angeles, Los Angeles, California. Oh, good. Well, we'll, we'll meet. Ladera Heights. Ladera oh, Heights, which is okay. near girl. City. We'll meet, yeah. girl. We'll meet. Okay, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Yes, definitely. So I'll get you. I was talking about in terms of your area of expertise, like are you in education? Are you in health? Are you what 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 area are you in? What what is oh, I'm in uh real estate. I've well, been a okay. real estate investor. Okay. I'm a broker and I've been okay. doing real estate investment for lots of years, for 30 okay. years. Wow. And, um okay. I have a company, I have a real estate mortgage company. I do mostly mortgage my expertise. It's mortgage. Yeah, I do mortgage a lot. Yeah. And that's what my main expertise is. Yeah, buying yeah. and selling properties and fix and flipping and all of that. I might okay. be calling right. you. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm doing it for a family. That's oh, beautiful. great. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Beautiful. I put myself on the money there too. When I Thank put you. it on the chat. I try to put Thank it on just now, but it went too it went too high. So I didn't want to I would do it before I get off. Because I tried to click on there and it covered the whole screen. <laughs> I didn't want to, you know, I want to see you guys. Okay, no, I, you I could do a right you. click. My phone oh. number as well. A right yeah. click. A right click. Okay. You could do a right click on the last out. text that you sent, and it will select all. And you can, um, you can, or actually, you can go to file, right there on the right, file. and it will, um, 
you can send the whole chat to yourself. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, you can save it. Right? She was trying to post her. Um, well, uh, Sabrina, you can help, but just make sure we have her email. Yeah, I was trying to get my email on the chat, and then the whole yeah. screen is going to cover. Well, tell me your email. I'll put it in there. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. I, I got to close it here. Oh, okay. Now I got it aside. Now I got it right. I'll put it on right now. Oh, you got <laughs> it? Okay. Yeah, my cell phone. Okay. And you guys are good. You guys okay, well, you guys, right? thank okay. you so much so, for thank, you, uh, thank you, Alicia. Yeah, and uh, thank you, Gail, too, for um, moving thank forward you. with the communication sector and um, looking forward. We're looking at a series of um, the fireside chats with the ambassadors, Woo! with the various uh, sectors. The the remember the the lawyer section started last year, and they started um, meeting on reparations. Uh, and that was led by uh, the attorney, Benjamin Crump, who was the uh, attorney who represented the George Floyd family and yeah. Brianna Taylor's family. Mm -hmm. He's in a with our, our, our lawyer section and, and they're gonna be doing perspectives on reparations as a series coming oh, up. Good. Um, and then of course the, um, the uh, IT sector, the health sector, the nurses are very active. Um, in the diaspora, they've done a, uh, and, and that video link is in the chat, but I'm going to send those links as a summary to you. Like I said, when we're done with this, okay. a lot of, um, a lot of what we have to do moving forward, as we know, is awareness too, because yeah. people just don't know. A lot of people don't even know the African union. They don't, they don't know no. any stuff we're talking Nothing. about. Nothing. They don't know we anything. We have a lot of education and things to share and update yeah. people in addition to making sure that they are mobilized and aligned with us as we move right, forward. Right. Um, so I Good. thank you what again for your time tonight. Um, anybody me. has any last comment um, and yeah. then we'll wrap up. Ms. Muhammad, you what have a the WhatsApp. Yes, what's the yeah. WhatsApp uh, number chat that, that, you're, that you're talking about? I well, you it's were several doing of them. Yeah. It's one for the engineers. It's actually two for the engineers. Um, I don't. And, I'm, I'm not clear on the question on the WhatsApp part that I was saying for WhatsApp. Oh, I, yeah, I, I, so I, I have thought a I heard. question. I have a question. Yeah, I, I thought. Yeah, okay, I, I thought I heard uh, you talking with the uh, talking about the WhatsApp chat. Oh, or text about Telegram. WhatsApp text. The Telegram. Gail mentioned about Telegram. Oh, the Telegram. Yeah, I'll. Uh, okay, well, it's can you, it's on the website. Uh, okay, can you forward the WhatsApp chat uh, numbers, please, too? When yeah, you send I can give you email. all the social media handles. And what happens when you join when you join a sector group, some of them, not all of them, have started a WhatsApp group. So the IT sector, they started the IT group. Um, the nurses okay, have I didn't a see, sector. Yeah. You know, so yeah, some I of them... The, uh, social media, but I didn't see that in, in the information that I was sent. Uh, that I have. Right. You have to get that internally because that's just when you join that sector. So depending on what you want to join. Pardon? But I haven't got any info. I've joined sectors, but I haven't got any information okay. of that. And I've been on the Zooms as well. And I'll be on the one for Zambia and the healthcare, the right. IT one with Thomas. I didn't hear, okay. I, didn't, I didn't get any of that uh, WhatsApp. I got okay. other information, but I didn't get the WhatsApp. That's what I wanted. Thank so we can follow up offline to make sure you're connected to the ones you're interested in. Not all of them have group chats. Some of them, the active ones do. And so we'll make sure you're connected to those. And, and we can, can we just that. put that in your email, Alicia, and that way everybody gets it? Well, the thing is, it, it depends on what group you're in. You right. Know? Well, and depends so, on I mean, what they want. Yeah. Because they're going right. to need it anyway for other people. Right. Yeah. So let's we'll see if we can get that list. So honestly, there is not like a roster that I can just send. I would have to find out where people are interested in and plug them in until we have that roster. That is in development because it's now, like I said, we had 53 chapters that got set up by the end of the year last year. And so now with all of this activity wrapping up 2020, going into 2021, a lot of this stuff is being organized, like our marketing materials and lists and and all of that. But Patricia, I will still follow up with you to make sure you're connected to the people that you've been trying to reach. Yeah. 
Agrippa, did you have something else before we wrap then? Because we're pretty much done. I I apologize. I just came back. Her Excellency called me. We've been on the phone. I've been on the phone with. How's her. she doing? Oh, okay. She she's doing fine. She gave me a final uh, feelings about her son that mm -hmm. passed away. That we were talking about some ADDF oh, work. Okay. So mm -hmm. sorry. I'm just I'm just coming back. You told her we were in the meeting. Yeah, I told her. Oh, she was so excited. <laughs> okay. She was very happy. We love her so much. Okay, well, thank you so much, guys. Okay. And um, I have we'll a question. Oh, yeah. yeah. How how often do you guys have this um, Zoom meeting? Yeah, we've been meeting every other week. Um, okay. And, uh, so now I don't know if that changes our date because we pushed it a week because of the inauguration last week. So we'll announce right. the, uh, the next mm -hmm. meeting date, but generally every other week we've been trying to meet. Okay. Trying to do next. Okay. So, okay. Since my email, you got it. I just sent yes. it. You should have it. I you, see you, it. Can you put me on that email. link. Yeah. yeah. Can you add me to that so I can be able to get Absolutely. on this? Absolutely. Great. I'll be looking forward to that. Okay. Okay. okay, I don't see your email, okay. Gwen. I don't see your information. She sent it to me. I'll, I'll send oh, okay. it to Okay, Alicia. Yeah. Okay, yeah, she was okay. she was next, I guess, in line. So you can get it from her, right? Okay, no, absolutely. Now, I say Kel Marie. Kel Marie. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, I'm so you can get it, it from her. Oh, God bless it everyone. Time. God bless God everyone. Bless everybody too. Yes. Thank really you. Yes. Okay. Stay black. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gail, her Gail, her email is there. I just sent it. Even myself. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, okay, you're welcome. So I'll be looking forward to hearing from you guys now. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. Possible. Okay. okay. Bye bye. Take care, bye -bye. everyone. That's my big sister. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to you all. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye. Okay. Very nice. All righty. Talk to you. See you soon. Patricia, I'm going to give you a call. We're going to talk soon. Okay. Bye.